Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a Google Slides template to reuse as often as you like and or share with your colleagues. Let's go ahead and take a look. So the first thing you need to know is that you have to do this in a G Suite for Education or a Google Workspaces account. You won't find these options listed under a Gmail account. So in this case here, you'll see my Gmail account. If I go into the template gallery, all I have here are recently used and the default templates available from Google. So instead, I'm going to go into my Google Workspaces account over here. And when I go into template gallery, you'll see I now have a gallery for everyone within this domain and a general gallery. Let's go back to the gallery for this domain and you'll see now there's a submit template option. And with the submit template option, you can simply select a presentation. Now in this case here, I'm going to use my demo branded slides that I made by editing the master copy of slides. And I have a video about how to do that linked up down below. And I'm going to submit a copy of this file instead of the original, because I don't want people to accidentally have access to my original copy. So I'm going to submit a copy of the file. You can put it in a category if you want, but you don't need to unless you want to. Now, if you're in a G Suite for Education account, you might see that your domain administrator has created some special categories in here besides the default ones. So I'm going to say demo branded slides. I'm going to put it in a category. Let's say brochures and newsletters. And I'm going to submit that copy. Now, I should also point out, if you're in a G Suite for Education account, you may not see this pop up immediately because it may be waiting for approval from your domain administrator. There it is. That's now a template that I can use and reuse as many times as I want. Whenever I go to make a new presentation, I can just go into the template gallery and I can pick that one and I can start making a presentation, which in this case already has the little brand that I want in the bottom right hand corner of the slide. And anytime I add a new slide, that's going to copy in as well. And again, I did that by editing the master slides. And like I said, down below in the description, I have a link to how to edit the master slides in your Google Slides. So that's how you can create a template to use in Google Slides. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.